Hi, this is Dave Weiss from MuckArts.com with an illustrated illustration called Lessons from a Duck. I was out on a walk this morning and God showed me something pretty cool using, of all things, a duck. No, not some mallard taking off on a long migratory flight, but rather a flightless white duck. You see, my route takes me past a farm that raises ducks ostensibly for me. What you may not know about domestic ducks is farmers will clip some of the feathers from their wings. This keeps the ducks from flying away, and as I understand it, it also helps to fatten them up so they're better to eat. I see these ducks nearly every morning, and every time they see me, I strike fear into their hearts, and they start to run. But that's not the funny part. The funny part is when they try to fly. They run quacking and squawking as fast as they can, flapping their wings for all they're worth. They think if they can keep flapping hard enough, eventually they will fly. The duck this morning must have gone 50 yards, and it looked hilarious. The thing is, sin does the very same thing to us. It clips our wings. It makes us unable to fly as God intended. Now let's be clear on something. As soon as I start talking about sin, a lot of church folks start to think about unbelievers. I'm not talking about them. How can we expect people who don't have Jesus in their hearts not to sin when we who do have him sin regularly? Today is a day to check yourself. What's clipping your wings? For me, sin comes easiest when I'm frustrated, especially when I'm having to wait. I get a vision to do something and my old wings start flapping. And I keep flapping and flapping and flapping and wonder why I'm not getting anywhere. Have you been there? I'm like that stupid duck not realizing I don't have everything I need to fly yet. I just keep flapping. After a while I start to take shortcuts I shouldn't take. I start acting out my frustration. I start to sin. And sin doesn't help me fly. There has to be a better way and there is. But you're not going to like it. The answer is to wait. To wait on the Lord. To pray and ask God to help you grow your wings back. To provide the resources. To show you the way. To trust him to show you the next move. It's either that or run around like an idiot flapping useless wings. The choice is yours, but I don't want to be a duck. After all, his prognosis isn't very good. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 40, 31, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. If you feel like you spend all your time flapping your wings and not getting anywhere, if you feel tired and worn out, maybe you need to wait on the Lord for a while. After all, if you watch an eagle fly, they don't flap their wings very often. They stretch out their wings and ride the wind. They soar, supported by a power mightier than their own. Isn't it time you soared? Then wait.